DaVinci Resolve, the one video editor that supports both Windows and Linux. Mostly, I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos and yeah, I do suck at it, but I wanted to try out or get a feel for DaVinci Resolve as I am planning to switch completely to Linux for about a week just to see how it feels or if I miss Windows as much. So if you are interested in seeing that, subscribe to the channel and let's get right into the video where we see how I handle installing DaVinci on our Linux with Hyperland on top of it. Note: Watch the video first before you attempt anything in this video as this is kind of an educational process where I learn along with you. So do not just find a command and randomly run it. Now let's actually get into it. After a bit of googling, uh, I found that we can actually install DaVinci with yay. Let's try it. Let's try it right now. We can do yay dash s DaVinci. Yeah, this is the command. It does have it, but here you can see this part where it does say failure while downloading file. Now this does happen for me and I don't know if it happens for any of you guys. Uh, if it does, please do let me know in the comments below. But for me, yay does not work. And also if you don't know how to install yay, check this video out. It's really easy to do, so <laughs> do check it out if you don't have it. And why are install using arc anywhere without yay? Let's say yeah, we want to remove depend make dependencies. So it turns my password. It says it's gonna do something after I press install. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it says fail to install the following way. So this did happen to me as I was uh, testing or trying out the a command before now with that out of the way how do we actually install it maybe i should go to the davinci website and when i typed in this i first saw this and as you can see i went to here and in here I, when i wanted to download this i had to fill this out now i don't know if this is a necessary thing but i did have to fill it out and then hit download for linux obviously and then after i pressed it uh, it downloaded it and I have saved it in my downloads folder right here as you see there you go now we have to unzip this so let's just I think we can use unzip so the Vinci yeah this is the one we need there you go the Vinci result mm, I don't think this will work right here I need to do CD downloads yeah and then unzip uh, by the way if you don't have unzip installed you can literally just do dash s unzip and yeah, it will install it so it's really easy so we can do unzip <laughs> yeah with that to go you can do da vinci resolve so basically the file you have uh, in case it, it isn't auto completing for you you can use dot slash so it, it has an easier time to auto complete so there you go now after when i hit enter uh, it should extract everything so let's just wait for it to be done and there you go uh, it is done extracting we do have a huge <laughs> we logo anyway i think we can run this directly right it should work so mm, so if i hit enter yeah there is an installation thing we can just i think we can go through it normally let's see mm, it needs my password everyone look away so let's it shouldn't take that long it's, it's going quite fast so i don't think it will take that long is it installed are we done uh, okay yeah it, it, there's the vinci resolve so if i hit enter it should open hmm. what happened again Another one. Hmm. something's wrong run the vinci from the terminal a few minutes later what why why is there nothing that says happen do i just type in resolve does that work nope it does not work so so after a bit of digging i found out that we can actually run it like this so this is the command in case you don't know how to run it from a terminal this is the command you need so okay we're getting an error hmm let's just google this let me just paste it in there is no way this is an actual reddit so if i just get in here maybe they have something big solution I, i'll just close this one we don't need it hmm surely this just works right let me just copy this yoink and then paste it in a moment of truth that's hmm. even a password sure something happened uh, let me just uh okay so if i run this again okay it's working right what do you mean by unsupported processing mode? 
Hmm, okay, if I go to update configuration, memory and GPU. Hmm, okay, so we don't, my GPU is not detected. That's weird. Do I need something extra for this? Let me just dig around for a bit and I'll come back to you. One hour later. Hmm, apparently, we need uh, OpenCL drivers for this. So we can do sudo pacman. Okay, so this is, doesn't work. So uh, can I use EA for this? Let's see. Mm, okay, something happened. Something happened. Something installed. So does, now does it work? Mm, hello? Something? I can close it. <laughs> it isn't closing right now. Hmm. Technical difficulties. Please hold on. We'll be right back. Uh, after we did a relog, let's see if this works. Nope. It just says this. So if I just copy and paste this. Uh, there's an R cookie for it. Maybe I should go here. Uh, this is something that I didn't try. So let's try that. I think I need EA for it. This work. Hmm, let's see. Still doesn't work. But I need to use Proggle. New hero. Okay, so this are some things that we need. So yay. No, I think I can do it. Pacman sudo Pacman dash s. It's 25 gigs. Damn, it's a lot of. This is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> but hopefully this works. Hopefully. Okay, that is done installing. Now can I run it? Nope. I install this. Okay, let me just clear everything out. I do feel like it's a uh, driver issue, so uh, also let's see yeah, this one. So we'll clear that out. Uh, now let's see what happens. Still the same. Okay, it is not working. Hmm. Oh, this is solved. So let's see. I mean, we were having this issue, so let's see. Can I just type this in? Do not type in random command like I am doing right now. I am doing it so you don't have to. And thank God there is not a package for it. So let's keep scrolling. Okay, so after a bit of thinking, I found that there are a bunch of drivers here. Now this is the one that I didn't use. Now let me try to install it. Is it in the Pacman repository? Okay, something did happen. So, now do you work? Nope. Yeah, this does say that it has a support rustic. I do think these are the same because these are in the same category. So, do I just do this? Hmm. No. So, this is causing a bit of an issue. Hmm. I'll uninstall and install it again. Maybe uh, something we did in the lib file is kind of messing with us. So, I'll just clear this and see if that fixes it so now that it's installed does this work now hmm still is having issues with the driver thing maybe somehow i can fix this driver issue is it possible there has to be something maybe i can find something here Oh, this is something. Can I just do this? Let me just copy this. Okay, so it changed the error. It did change the error. So maybe I can do both. Mm, okay, so this dude little tried it. So let's just try it again. So basically it's getting like this is not working. Okay, so this is basically just copying this over. I'm mean, sure. Let me try this. What could go wrong? So now can I run this without this? Uh, okay, so it is showing me a different error than before, which is progress. If you don't believe me, that is progress. Okay, so here's something new. Did it just reload everything? Let's see. Yeah, it just reloaded everything. Wait, so if I'm getting uh, this issue right now, so which, which one is the error? So this one and I think uh, which one did I not copy? So I did GIO, GIO is copy. L module. Well, I didn't copy this one. Maybe if I just copy this, it will be fine. Let me just copy this and then Yeah, I'll just 
Let's do win right here. And then okay, so now I don't have to do the um, air thing again. I forgot what it's called, but uh, now I just have this issue right here. Okay, so a quick reboot later. Uh, now can I do this? Okay, I can do it. So, okay, it did open. Hmm, I'll just close this. If I do just this. Okay, it still works. It still works. But I get this error right here. Hmm. So, I'll just quit this. I think I need the uh, uh, stick enable thing. So, let me see. Yeah, it does work. Hmm, let's see if my yeah, GPU is actually detected. So we can go to here, I think, and preference on memory and GPU. Yeah, my GPU is detected now. So that's something. And I can just quit this. Let me clear this. And it is kind of like weird to do it all the time this way because uh, if I want to like open it for here, from here, for example, if I just click this, uh, I do think, yeah, this does throw an error so i'll just add this as an environment variable now and i think i can do let me just do nvim uh i think i should have copied it so hold on i think i can do this maybe environment variables so i can go to my environments right here uh maybe in here i can paste it in so env and then w did that work let's see no it does not work hmm that is interesting so this is not working oh wait wait, wait. i think i need to like export it save this so control x and now let's just source it uh, let me just open it from here let's see if this works no hmm So I'll just close this. Let's see what does it show. Oh, I can do the like, previous thing with this, right? Yeah, this. So let's try this. I want. I want to try this. This seems interesting. So nvim, obviously, because we are using that. I'll just copy this. V. So I think this will create. The desktop entry i'll just copy this paste it here maybe i can save this so i'll just save it so this directory does not seem to exist so let's just make it let's see if this works so i'll just make that directory i'll go to nvim that did work and now do we see it working Oh yeah, there you go, you can see it. Hmm. So it does take a bit of finagling to get working, uh, but it does work till the end of the video, which is right now. And if you did stick around till the end, then hit the like and also subscribe to the channel to see me do more things with DaVinci. So I am thinking about switching to Linux and also uh, more content will be like i want to do more of these type of content where i try out different things and i also show you my process of how i actually do those things so i'll see you guys in the next one bye